Last one. going home. Black team, you won immunity this week, so you both are safe. Brown team, you won the weigh-in this week, which means both of you are safe. The other nine teams will have to choose one person from each couple to go home. But there is a way back. You will go home, and after 30 days, if your teammate has managed to stay in this game, you get to come back. Thanks, everyone. This twist today came as a complete and utter shock. I'm not exactly. I thought we were going to go together. I never thought we would discuss eliminating one another. Considering what happened, I am definitely grateful that I'm not doing this alone. I am sitting here rather than David because he is up to the challenge of showing America that it's possible to lose the same amount of weight we're losing here at home. I did make that commitment to change. You know, I made it to myself, I made it to my mom, and I was going to do it with or without her. You never do anything with all your heart unless your reason why is big enough. And I know why I'm here. Who's my biggest competition? You're looking at her. Myself. I beat myself, I'll win. It's real now. I mean, if I get eliminated, we're both done. All I can focus on is beating my competition. I am not playing this week. Add on some more pressure. Give me all you got, because I'm not backing down. See you later. I'm not exactly. Gotta get this done. I think the hardest part about coming home is being without Damien. He's my partner, he's my best friend, and I look to him for basically everything. When I was told that one of us had to go home, I knew that I was gonna kick ass. I was just completely determined. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And I'm gonna prove to myself, I'm gonna prove it to Tara, and I'm gonna prove it to America, this can be done at home. Come here, kitty, kitty, I'm home. Oh, man, look at you. Where's my burger? David. <laughs> How you doing? What are you doing? Buddy? Hey. What are you doing? <laughs> skinnier. Yeah, right? <laughs> Are you wondering why I'm home? No, I'm not kicked off. I'm not eliminated. But here's the deal. I'm just home for 30 days. I have 30 days to lose as much weight as I can at home. That's a whole group of us that would come home to show America that you don't have to be on the ranch to lose weight. If Kristen should get eliminated in the next three weeks, then we're done. So Kristen's fighting for me to come back. She's working hard, and I have to honor her hard work by doing it at home. So my plan for the next 30 days is to go by this calendar, because I know I only have 30 days to lose as much weight as I possibly can. My game plan for the next 30 days is become in better shape cardio-wise. The hardest part about coming back home is accountability. It's up to me. No one else is going to do this for me. What it all comes down to these next 30 days are for me. I'm going to 
focus on what needs to be done at home so that when I do get back, I'm ready. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, you're seeing me home because I decided to let Joelle prove to me and America and herself that she can bring me back. Hey, how are you doing, Kat? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Well, so. remember what you promised me, that if I ever made it on The Biggest Loser, that you would train me? Here we go. Here's your chance. Thank you. Yes, you thank remembered. You. Yes, I did. Thanks, Ben. All right, now you're in trouble, though. Basically, the bottom line is I've never done this at home. But what is it that you need from me to make sure I help you as much as possible? I need you to kind of be my Bob. Um, I'll take a water. My biggest temptation being here at home is probably going to be food. OK. And a french fry. For my 30 days at home, I'm just going to get my cardio in every day. I want to try to lose 40 pounds. And I think that's pretty realistic. Because I don't like a lot of the foods that are healthy for me, I'm just going to have to search and find what I like. What kind of hot dogs do you have? We have the Red Carolina hot dogs. And you like those? Yeah, I'll have okay. two of those. One of the first things I needed to do was to take on the cupboard. Oh, my goodness. I knew that I had to work within the limited number of calories that I had. 110 calories, 40 from fat. That's not going to work. Try to find things that I can eat here at home that are part of the diet. Thank you. Have a good night. All right, you too. This is a great head start towards that. I got a lot more to go. But you'll get there. Allison wanted us to meet her down by the pond, and we're walking down the road, and we see her standing there. Hi, everyone. Oh. Hello. There is a line. You could step right up. Here's Allison standing, looking all cute. And there's a line she tells us to stand at. We're like, OK. We're thinking maybe 50-yard dash or something. Well, as you all witnessed last night, part of your experience on The Biggest Loser and with weight loss in general is learning how to make very difficult decisions. Well, today, I have one more for you. You're looking at a stretch limo. The limo represents, you know, a lot of things. It represents wealth, it represents, you know, vacation, sometimes luxury. I had no idea. I was like, well, maybe, maybe we're going to the spa. Being on this campus is not for the faint of heart. After only one week, you have experienced how physically grueling the biggest loser can be. And at the end of this week, one couple will be eliminated. If you want to stay in this competition, you have to be 100% committed. Because if you don't believe, you should go home. What? Now it is time to prove how important this experience is to you. This is officially your first temptation on The Biggest Loser. I'm looking for the donuts. I'm looking for the bucket of fried chicken. Because if there's a bucket of fried chicken on the road, I'll forget that I had a blister on my foot and I'll run for it. <laughs> I'm ready to offer you here now a piece of the $250,000 grand prize. All you have to do is take a step across that line and leave this game for good. If you cross that line, you are speaking on behalf of your teammate. You are both out of this game for good. The first person who crosses that line gets $5,000. Oh. Allison came with temptation. A real temptation. That little 59 cent chicken wing. Back away. Get back. <laughs> I don't want to fall. Back up. See a lot of people making it very clear that this is not what they want. I know exactly what I do if I take the $5,000. I spend $4,000 on fried chicken and $1,000 on my cable so I can watch the show. That's totally not worth it. This is key. This is changing our lives. What if I up the ante? What if I made it $10,000? Woo! Oh, my. <laughs> I'm living at home with my mother. I'm a grown woman who's being supported by my mother. And there's a lot of shame with that. You can get a house in Michigan for $5,000. So I could have moved out of my mother's home. How important is it for you to be here? 
Cash can't buy your life back. Nope. Cannot. All right, Damien. But as you know, things on The Biggest Loser are never easy. Oh, no. No. So what's next? What's next? So my final offer is $25,000. <laughs> $25,000. That's more than I made in a couple of years. Looking down the line, you know, Joelle had a look on her face like, maybe I'm going to go, that's getting up there. You could tell she was kind of thinking about it. I have my final offer. You can leave this game right now and take $25,000 with you. Shut up. All I have to do is step over this simple white line, less than four inches, right there. $25,000 right there. It's 10% of the grand prize. You want it, Joel? Cross the line. When we were standing at the line, Joel kept saying, I don't know, I don't know. That's a, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And if you're going to let money get in the way of having a great experience here on the ranch, then cross that line. If you want to win money, go on a game show. None of us are here to play with their lives, and if any of us are, go home now. Mm -hmm. Take the money and go. There's no way. No way. So Dan said it best. If you're in this for the money, here it is. 25 grand. Cross that line right now. Five. Four, three, two. One. Congratulations on surviving your first temptation. I had the thought many times I could take that money and do many things with it, but it's not the final answer. And so for that sake, I stayed on the other side of the line. Good job, Woo! everyone. Good job, everyone. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens with Joelle. She was obviously tempted by the money. She seems dedicated, but only to a point. I will see you all soon. Now get out of here. Hit the gym. Thank you. Bye. There you go. Oh, you got a spoon, too. Nice little yogurt for you. Thanks. Just got to give me a nice boost before I work out. Hi. Hi, hey. Bob. Hey. That was the craziest weigh-in ever. So I walked into the house to find out who was left, and there they were, my seven people, sitting there without their partners, except for my brown team, who won the weigh-in. Here's your new team. Hey, is this our crack team? We're missing a few. Yeah. I'm not happy about seeing half of the contestants go home. It will prove a point to the contestants and to America that you can do this on your own. With that said, you know, it sucks for the people that went home. How did you come to these decisions? Neither one of us wanted to go home, but she thought I needed to be here. You probably need the medical supervision, and with the support of this team, I think it's a good thing. I only met your mother for a week, and I love that woman, and she loves you. Yes, she does. And she was like, you take care of my daughter. And I was like, oh, I will. My mom's tough. I mean, she's going to go home and kick butt, you know, and I know that I can get stronger here every day and bring her back, yes. you know. So I, I've, I'm very confident with the decision we made. You all have a responsibility to not only yourself anymore, to your partner that's at home right now. Allison called us down and we had our first temptation. Wow. Yeah. Allie offered us $25,000 to leave the ranch. Was right. Anybody and then this is what happened. No. I'll tell you Not what me. happened. All Not of a me. sudden, everyone took a step back, and I was there by myself. It was tempting. I, I, it was. It was I tempting for you. Not even going to play at all. When I found out that Joelle almost took that twenty-five thousand dollars after Carla sacrificed herself, I just didn't know what to think about Joelle. I want to get some a good workout in now. Okay. All right, boss. Good. I'm really concerned about Joelle, so I just wanted to make sure that she knew the responsibility that she has right now. She has got to take care of herself, but she's also got to take care of her teammate. What's going on, Joelle? Where's your head? 
Something is holding you back. That's what we have to look at, Joelle. I think that's my biggest goal, to know that. Why do you want to be here? It was the only thing that I knew that I saw, second to gastric bypass, to lose 100 pounds. And I don't want you to think that I'm trying to quit. Exercise has been the most challenging thing for me. Joelle, I don't want you to focus so much on on just the workouts. The workouts are important. The workouts are a component. What you've got to be able to focus on is you. It's about you. It's about getting Joelle out of her comfort zone. Joelle's comfort zone got her to over 300 pounds. Yes. Joelle getting out of her comfort zone got her to lose 13 pounds in a week. Yes, you can you can absolutely lose 100 pounds, but like, are you, all your prayers going to be answered when, when you've lost 100 pounds? Oh, gosh. What do you need to forgive? The goals I haven't met. The wrong choices I made. Today is the day <laughs> you need to forgive yourself for all that, I'm going. I'm going to. It's just a lot of shame with it, that's all. Of course. It's fear. Anytime you start feeling that fear, welcome it. Hands up, eyes open, I welcome this. Don't give all that fear that power. It's time for you to start seeing what you are capable of. I just don't want to fail. You will come out of this victorious. I believe in you. You believe in you. And there's no failure in that. Thank you. Joelle and I had a really good talk, but right now I don't know where Joelle is. I can look at everyone else in the house and see what they are putting in. And I've got to make sure that everyone that I'm responsible for is putting in the same amount to guarantee that they stay in this house. Now let's get up there and start running. Let's go start finding some of that fear. Coming up on The Biggest Loser, the contestants compete in a daunting week two challenge. You will race to the top of that mountain. Wow, it's a long way. Where it doesn't stop until they've conquered both sea and land. Later in the last chance workout, find out who sends Bob into the biggest explosion ever. Every time, what is it? Two more, don't arch at the top. Good, last one right here, real low. And big push. Good. Week two is a total conundrum. Some contestants sail through week two, some gain weight. There's just no way of knowing what's gonna happen. And let's be honest, I'm the best. I am, I'm the best. Nothing gets past me. And for me to still not be able to sail through week two after five years and seven seasons is kind of annoying. You know what, <laughs> week two. That's what I have to say about week two now. I had great numbers last season, week two. Feed that body and just keep it going and make sure that you get plenty of rest. You put those three things together, you're gonna have a good week two. Three. Lower. Four. Bring those legs together. Walk those feet farther back. Three. Lower. Yes, sir. Thank you. Better. Two, get that chest down. No, 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 Four more. Uh, me staying here just adds a ton of more pressure on myself. I don't want to let Laura down. I want her to come back and have her opportunity here because she deserves just as much as I do. And that's the only thing that matters right now. No, the next time I see, this is what you're doing. You're going like this. I don't know what that is. This is what I'm looking for. Yes, sir. Chest going down. Not this. This. When I see Joelle not giving a hundred percent, that is unacceptable. Because at this point, nine people are gone and Joelle wanted to be here. Then you know what? You better start acting like you want to be here, Joelle. I can't believe that I'm doing six to eight hours of exercise a day. It's just amazing. I, I rode 42 miles on a bike. It boggles my mind in two weeks this body's doing this. You know, it's that time of day where we just 
start hitting the wall. You know, we're looking for something to eat, something sweet. Right. It's like I see people when they go into their offices too. Oh man, in offices, people are bringing in their leftover desserts. Well, what can we do? You know, instead of grabbing that cookie. In the afternoon, snacking is going to be inevitable. You got to have something. So if it means carrying some extra sugar-free gum, research shows chewing gum before snacking on sweets can reduce sweet cravings and control your appetite for sweets. Carry this extra sugar-free gum in your pocket. Chewing this before you go for that cookie. Let me tell you, you're going to be saving yourself hundreds and hundreds of calories. So this one is the sweet watermelon. Take that, keep it in your pocket. It smells like watermelon. It's good. Good, guys. 15 seconds. Whoa. Sorry, I'm fine. I got sloppy. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You OK? Yeah. It just was a loud sound, that's all. I am OK. This is so much harder than I expected. I can do the diet. I can count the calories. It's not as hard as going into that gym every day. That is the hardest. What number you want? 15, I think. OK, you got five more. Uh, you going to okay. be OK with them? Yeah. One person right now that everybody's noticing that's not given 110 percent is, is Joelle. I think she just comes up with a lot of excuses of why she doesn't do the workout to the fullest. So as of right now, if she falls below the Leon line, this is how I'll be in the elimination room. Yeah, the decision was easy. <laughs> For me, when I'm in the workout, it's not a pep rally. It's more of, oh, dear Lord, you know, what am I going to do? You want to make it. You want to finish. I mean, that's what we're here for, right? Joel, girl, keep that work up at the ranch, because I'm keeping up this work at home. I'm so exhausted. I'm tired. I miss Mandy. I've probably only lost maybe a pound or two. I didn't like my weight loss results, and I'm about to kick it in gear. This has been so hard. Let me get back. I got to keep moving. Got to burn those calories. My goal is to burn 7,000 calories today. Set my alarm this morning to get up, because I didn't want to sleep in. I wanted to keep moving. It's going to be out. I feel like I'm starting to get some of my energy back again. So whatever I need to do, I'm going to do it. I am really trying to prove that I can do this. And I'm doing it to inspire America. My biggest fear is that I'm not going to lose enough weight. Even though I know I've put everything into me while I've been here, I've always pushed myself to be at the gym longer. Yeah, right. Can you see the sweat? Sweat. Three. I thought that maybe when I left Jillian, I would be able to find someone who could ease me into some workouts. I found a he Jillian. Up. Good. I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> it's like, who are you? Let me let you know. Keep on moving. Oh. Double up that jab, double jab. It really makes me mad that I got this out of shape. It's like, how did I get here? It's not that you need someone else to push you. You need to push you. If you lose three pounds, four pounds, that's great too, you know? Just as long as you stay consistent with it. Keep going, keep going. Because this is about living life. Better watch out, you ain't ready for me. You ain't ready for me. By adding singing to your workout, you breathe more deeply, take in more oxygen, improve your aerobic ability, and release muscle tension. Singing also tones abdominal and intercostal muscles and helps stimulate circulation. So, next time you work out at home, pick your favorite tune and belt it out for an even more effective total body workout. So we're, we're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. So I'm thinking, this is a big change. They're going to change the reality show from The Biggest Loser to you know the next series of Hawaii Five-0. So I'm looking for a little midget that says the plane, the plane. So basically, we're all nervous. And then I see Allison. And I know she's up to something. Today's challenge is an individual challenge. And here's how it's going to work. 
On my go, you will race in a sea kayak a quarter of a mile to the shore. From there, you will race on foot to the top of that mountain. See those flags up there? That's where you're going. Wow. It's a long way. Lift the kayak from this point in the ocean and go all the way to shore and then climb up this giant mountain. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, she just totally ruined this heaven for me. This is now hell. The first one to the top wins. And while you may be competing alone, the reward will help you and your partner at home too. Immunity at this week's weigh-in. I know how important immunity is from the first week. Nine people went home, and we didn't because me and Dane had immunity. Plus, you'll be able to tell them about it because you also receive a phone call home. Second, third, and fourth place will also receive a phone call home. <laughs> When Allison said that we could possibly have a phone call, that would be really cool. But you know what? It's not the same as that $25,000 challenge. That is an incentive. <laughs> I'm letting that go. I'm letting it go. It is in the past. The last person to cross the finish line will receive something that not only hurts their chances, but hurts their partner's chances, too. A one-pound disadvantage at this week's weigh-in. The week two is the dreaded plateau. I mean, it, you, you go from hitting huge numbers the first week to really low numbers the second week. So one pound is, is crucial. I mean, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. I mean, it's, it's, it could be the difference of being here or not. Black team, brown team, only one of you will be competing in today's challenge. The other one will compete next week. So black team, who's it going to be? Blaine's competing today. Brown team? Me. All right, Mike. Let's do this. Let's get started. All right. All right. Go. Looking at the challenge, I should be able to take it easily because I'm more in shape probably than most people here. There's nothing that can stop me from winning this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to beat everyone. Ready. Get set. And they're off. Blaine and Helen out of the gate first. Blaine's hard at work pumping those pedals. Remember, immunity and four phone calls are up for grabs. Dan's off to a slow start. We take off, and we're going, and we're paddling. And I'm paddling as fast as I could. Well, I was neck and neck with Blaine. I mean, I thought, I looked around, and I'm like, oh, I'm doing this. I am doing this. Look at me. Helen and Blaine are neck and neck. Come on, Michael! Mike's pushing hard. He's in fourth, followed by Felipe and Kristen. Honestly, when I saw Blaine and Helen up there, I'm like, screw this, I gotta catch up, that's it. Tara's kicking it into gear now. She just passed Helen to take over second place. But there is a tightly bunched pack in hot pursuit right behind her. Damien's moving at a steady speed, as is Jerry. And here comes Joelle, she is making her move. I've got this crazy mantra, push, baby, push, push, baby, push. Oh my gosh, I'm getting closer to somebody now, which is kind of cool. I'm freaking gonna pass one or two people. Blaine, Tara, and Helen have really pulled ahead of the pack as they approach the shore. What do you mean? Blaine egging Tara on. He knows she's the only one who can beat him at this point, and she's hot on his heels. Ah, oh, and here comes Tara making her move on Blaine. She's going around the outside. Blaine pedaling hard as he approaches the first buoy. Tara just a boat length behind him. Helen's doing really well. Pink team is in third place. We got him coming in right there. Blaine's the first one in. With Tara right behind him. As we got to the shore, my quads were just burning. That kayak was, was tough. And I looked behind me, and, and Tara's there. And uh, I knew it was between her and me. Blaine's making his way up the hiking trail. Tara close behind him. I'm on, and Blaine has 10 inches on me. So now I'm just trying to keep up with Blaine. The middle of the pack is approaching the shore, led by Mandy and Mike. Come on, Mikey! I see Blaine take off and Tara take off, and then I'm like, oh no, 
Yeah, I'm staying right up with you guys. Helen and Manny are on the trail. Mike reaches shore. Kristen, right by me. At the end of the pack is Jerry, followed by Dan. He's having a lot of trouble making his boat work. Pedaling really hard, I'm playing really hard. And I found that my abs weren't strong enough yet to keep my body up. Blaine, just a few paces ahead of Tara as they begin their hike up the mountain. Blaine jogging, hoping to get some distance from Tara. Tara keeping Blaine right in her sights. She is right behind him. Tara's getting run for his money, though, that's for sure. Yeah. Blaine and Tara beginning the steepest part of the climb. Come on, baby. Jerry's on the shore. He's fighting to get his boat up on out of the water. Oh. They look real tight. Yeah. Looks like Helen's slowing down. Blaine and Tara are struggling to catch their breath as well. Tara's right on my tail, and I just figured that there was no way that she would be able to overtake me, or even if she would, I'd be able to take it back. I saw the breaking point and it got a little bigger. I'm like, if I don't run now, I don't have a shot in hell. So I figured, just go for it. Tara jogging past Blaine. Oh, Tara passed him. Uh-oh. She should have waited to make her move. Come on, Blaine. Now I'm just trying to keep up with Blaine. And then finally, I saw the breaking point and it got a little bigger. I'm like, if I don't run now, I don't have a shot in hell. So I figured, just go for it. Tara jogging past Blaine. Oh, Tara passed him. Uh-oh. She's not going to let him just take immunity. I let her pass me for a minute. I'm catching my breath a little bit. Then I'm like, OK, time to make my move. Blaine not letting Tara get away with that. He is right behind her. Come on, Blaine. Catch up, buddy. Tara, Blaine, both feeling the burn. This is the steepest part of the entire hike. It's getting closer. Come on, Blaine. Come on, guys. This is it. The final stretch. Whoa! So I'm trying to catch up with her, and all of a sudden, I can't move anymore. And at that moment, I realized that she was going to beat me. <sighs> did it. You have just won immunity for the green team. You survived. You took the first place. Come here and grab yourself your immunity truck. I did it. You know, I'm just so happy that like I had it in me and I really took it home and I, I was able to do it. I'm just really proud of myself. Come on, Blaine. Come on, Blaine. Woo. That looked hard. I'm glad I'm out here on the boat. Tell you what. Congratulations, Blaine, second place. That is a phone call home. There are two more phone calls up for grabs. Go, Michael! Mandy passes Helen. She wants that phone call. Kristen's pushing hard. It looks like Dan, who has struggled with his kayak, has finally managed to make it to shore. I definitely can feel Aubrey's little voice being like, do not give up, push harder, push harder, you can do it. Her intensity was there definitely pushing me and making sure that I wasn't going to quit. Mandy, with third place, gets a phone call home. Just one more phone call left. My lungs were so expanded that I didn't even know if I could take another breath or another step up that mountain. But I just kept thinking about a phone call home. You know, I just needed that. I have to have that. Go get your phone That's call. That's it, Helen. That is a phone call home. Go get your phone call. And now it's a race for safety. The person who comes in last will receive a one pound penalty. Mike powers through. Yeah, he's fifth. fifth. Damien is also safe. Come on, guys. Only four more people will be safe. At this point, I just want to make it to the top alive. My feet are burning. I mean, it, it's it's rough. It's I just want to make it to the top. Come on, Kristen! You Good did job. it, Kristen! You are safe! Joel makes it across. Felipe's got this. He runs up. He's running to the finish line. We 
teammate, you are safe. Only one spot left. The person who comes in last will receive a one pound penalty at this week's weigh-in. There you go, Jared. That is the finish line. You crossed it. Good job, Jerry. I'm not glad that Danny is behind me, but I did not want that one pound because I got to struggle this week. You're almost there. I know. <laughs> I'm go get Dan. I know. Right now, you feel like your heart's gonna give out and your knees are just gonna fail. Yeah. But it won't. It won't. Your body can do it. We're here for you, Dan. I know. I'm gonna keep on pushing you if you want me to. My teammates, they're so awesome. They came back down there helping me out. You know, they're giving me some pushes, you know, from the back halfway up, and them being there really helped me find inside what I needed to get up that hill. <sighs> Showing every overweight teenager they can do it. That's yep. right, man. Don't, don't stop. Yeah, but that last stretch, you know, uh, Blaine looked at me and you know said, "Man, you need to do this yourself," and he was right, and, and I knew I needed to. You can do it. I want to do it. You can do it. Let me do it. Let's do it. Do it. Come on, guys. You got Let's it. Go. go. Whew. Here comes Dan. Come on. Holy crap. Dan. Woo. That's it! Dan has crossed the finish line! Orange finish! It means everything to me to have these people here helping me out, because, I mean, I am competing against them, and they're competing against me, but at the same time, we're all competing for the same goal. And seeing that they're, they were supportive of me making up that hill was, it was incredible. I, it was awesome. And that's it, Tara, congratulations. You, I know, I'm so the happy. team, has immunity. You and Laura are both safe from elimination this week. One more week, you got me. Get ready got you for one more week, Tara. <laughs> for so long, I didn't do things because of my weight. And now it's like, I climbed the mountain, I kayaked. I'm finally feeling like I'm alive and that I'm doing things and that, you know, this is like, this is my life now. And I'm taking it back. Tara, you get a phone call home. We also get a phone call home for Blaine, second place. Mandy's our third place finisher. Helen! Helen gets a phone call home. Helen, like to go. I get a phone call home, I did it. <laughs> And all that hard work and all that sweat and pain in the gym just paid off because look, look where I am now. Dan, sorry to tell you, but you have a one pound disadvantage at this week's weigh. That's fine. I think that my weight is, is going to be good enough this week to overcome that one pound disadvantage. And if it was going to come down to Jerry being last, I would rather me take the hit than see him get it. This is enough for me. And um, I know I get the phone call home, everyone. and. I think it should go to someone who has the family at home and has the children at home. So, um, Felipe, if you want to take the phone call home, it's all yours, buddy. All yours. <laughs> when Tara gave me the phone call home, I, my heart just dropped. This is absolutely the best gift that uh, any husband could receive. Hopefully, I can return the favor in the future. Let's get back to campus. I can't believe that I'm actually going to have a chance to call home. That's exciting for me. Hello? Hello? Honey? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? That's pretty crazy, honey. About eight hours of the day, I'm just working out. Oh, wow. You sound different. Oh, I do? <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't hear the heavy breathing. I'm able to go maybe three, four days without using my inhaler at all. That's good news, my love. I love you. I love you, too. Bye. I love you. Bye. 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 The phone call home was almost a bigger prize than immunity. I mean, immunity is huge, but I miss my family. My wife's having a baby in two weeks. To have a conversation with her would mean everything to me. I can't wait to talk to my wife. Hello? Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Good. How's everything coming? Everything OK? Yeah, I'm doing good. I went to the doctor on Friday. I didn't know if you were calling to tell me you could come or maybe that you couldn't. <laughs> but I want you to know that if you can't, 
I'm going to be okay. And I want you to make that choice because I don't want you to get distracted. I want to be there so bad. I know you do. I know. I just want what's best for you and you not to worry about it. And I'll be okay. You're amazing, honey. I'm so lucky to have you. I'm just no good without you. <laughs> no good without you either. This is the hardest thing we've ever had to do, you know, to be apart. Life is hard, but our marriage makes everything easier. The hardest thing about this experience is just not having her here. I love you. I love you too. Okay. Go go, babe. Okay. Bye. Bye. Coming up on The Biggest Loser. Push him! Oh, yeah! In an explosive last chance workout, the contestants are pushed beyond their limits. Oh my God. And for the first time, Bob is pushed beyond his. Everyone goes for 30 seconds, okay? And in the first weigh-in without their partners, the contestants feel the entire weight of the scale alone. Oh. In the first hour of The Biggest Loser, after the loss of nine of their partners, the remaining players faced a $25,000 temptation to leave the ranch that Joel barely resisted. At the challenge, Tara overtook Blaine on the final climb and won immunity for this week's weigh-in. Now, find out what happens to cause the biggest Bob blow-up in Biggest Loser history. Just stop talking and do it! I'm not trying to quit! Shut the f up! It happens right now. I really wanted to share with my family that I miss them and uh, that I was working hard and trying to win phone calls home all the time so I could talk to them as much as possible. Hello. Hi. Hey, babe. Oh. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? We're doing good. I did good in the challenge, so that's why I get to call you, so that's exciting. I definitely think my husband at first didn't understand why I was here, because he has seen that I don't have huge self-confidence, I don't feel like I'm a strong person, so I think him just hearing, you know, I'm doing good, I'm working hard, was really cool, and I think he supports me a lot more now. I love you. I uh, think about me, babe. I think about you every day. Don't forget that. Shannon? Shannon, it's Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. What did you win? A phone call or something? I won a phone call home. How? Allie had a challenge, and I, and I uh, did really good in the challenge. Is this your only phone call, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. I can't believe you used your one phone call to call me. It's so good to hear your voice. I know, it doesn't even sound like you. You sound like a totally different person. Because <laughs> I am. I'm becoming one. And it feels great. Talking to Shannon today, I know that she's doing well now. It just makes me want to work harder. You know, it just, it really does. Okay, I'll see you in a while. Okay, hey, Mom. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Everyone's looking good. Chest up nice and tall, Joel. Good. Focus is forward. With this last chance workout, I am going to be giving everything that I've got because I am not going to succumb to week two being the bad week. We're going to have great numbers week two. And in this last chance workout, you're going to feel it. Six, seven, love it. Eight. We're going to 20. Oh, my God. Last chance up. Good, switch legs. One more like that. Okay. It's last chance workout, and week two is historically a bad week. So my only option is to just beat the crap out of them and hope for the best. Blaine, get on here. Holy crap. The last chance workout was the hardest thing I've done so far here. She had me squatting, I think, almost every pound in the gym. And then she had Blaine stand on the thing. Okay. The I was down. a little bit nervous. Go! Oh, 
go, 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 go. 900 pounds, go. 900. <laughs> Two more, go, 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 go. <laughs> Push. Push him. Take it down, take it down. <laughs> yeah. Lock it up. That's amazing. I did it. Jillian's definitely the scariest, hardest person I've ever had to deal with, and that includes all of my past football coaches. I can't believe you just did that. Go. Do it again. Okay. I'll get back up. I will. You got it. Let's go. Not I will. Just do. I am. I don't have fear. Up. Jeez. I'm sorry. I will do it. Not I'm sorry. Just step up. Forgive me. Up. Ah. That's right. One more I'll time. I'll do it. I'll do it again. One more time. I'll get it right. You want perfection. Step up. I don't know what's going on with Joelle. I have been spending so much time with her, talking to her through cash outs and through workouts, spending more time with her than anyone else on my team. I don't understand where her brain is right now. Can somebody tell me what's going on with Joelle? Thankful. Sewer sucker Tash, I'm thankful. Come on, Jerry, come on. Last chance workout, come on. Come on, Jerry. Look. Last chance workout is super crucial. I don't want to fall below the yellow line. So Jillian pushed me to the limit. Oh, my knees. You know you're going to be okay. You're going to do it. I know I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Jerry has had a really hard week. I mean, he's just wiped. He's got so much heart, that guy, but he just doesn't have the stamina of the younger contestants. Four, three, two, and one. Come on out of there. Big push, big push. Keep those legs moving. There you go. Hurts in his back. 16, 15, 14. 13, the last chance workout. 12. There's a lot of anxiety with it. I'm looking at everyone else, and they can't breathe. <laughs> They're throwing up. Oh. And to go to those levels is really hard for me. That's really letting go. So um, right now, I'm just trying to fake it till I make it. Uh. Joelle, running, baby, running, let go. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Joelle, get on the treadmill. 10, 9, 8, 7. There are millions of people across America that want to be in that gym with Jillian and I, getting their asses kicked because they feel like it's the only place that it's going to happen. We can make miracles happen in this house, but you've got to bring everything you've got. You've got to bring your A-plus game to this house. Three, two, one. Everyone walk nice and easy. We're gonna do that one more time. This is my last chance to really take care of that one pound disadvantage. And if I could knock off one more pound of the gym than I would have, I could make that one pound disadvantage obsolete. Push rocket. This is it, Dan. Let me see six, go ahead. Here we go. Nice! Woo! Last chance, Dan. Go higher. Six two. Let's go six five. Six five. Last chance workout, Dan. Six oh, half, ten seconds. Stay on, stay on. Let's go six, seven. Seven miles an hour for five, four, Woo! three, two, jump. You got it, Dan. Good job, Dan. Dan, you just went seven miles an hour. Get your breath. To feel my body moving that fast for the first time in a long time was a great feeling. Um, you know, it was terrifying, but it was a great, great feeling to push myself like that. We have a 30-second sprint. 6.5, Joel. Yes. One more time. Believe Amen. in yourself. That's right. Trust the process. Change, Change forever. forever. Amen. Five, four, three, two, one, go. That's it. Good. Everybody looks good. Do not be sloppy. Finish this strong, Joel. No, Joel, don't do it. Don't do it. Dig, Joel. Dig. Ten. Joel. Four, three, two, one. What the f Joel? Every single time at 20 seconds, every f time. What is it? What is it? Tell me what it is. I am trying and giving you. No, a you're not. You stop at 20 seconds every f time. Every time. What is it? I'm giving you my best. No, you're not. You stop at 20 seconds every single time. What is it? Because I've got six other people here that want to be here that keep pushing outside of the box. What is it? I'm pushing. No, you're not. Don't say it. Don't say you're pushing. 
because you're not. You're stopping every single time. And that's stopping. And it never left? Every single you time. Asked for six no, points. then do it. Do it now, okay? Everyone goes for 30 <laughs> seconds. You don't come off for 30 <laughs> seconds, okay? That's all I'm asking. Just do that. God! I have never seen Bob that mad. Never. He's never gone that mad. Never. In 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Twenty seconds to go. Fifteen seconds. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Shut eight. Up. Seven. Six. Five. No! Three. Two. One. Nope, that wasn't it. God. Focus, Joel. Focus. You can do this. Stop thinking of yourself. Think of us. I'm giving you what I got. I am doing. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. It wasn't 20 seconds, Bob. Oh, it was 25. I Three. wasn't. I'm asking for 30 seconds. And I'm giving you what I got, OK? Well, give, give me more. I need more. And I'm doing it. Do it. It might not be what you want. I'm trying as best as I can. I How about am. You? How about you? Are you I trying? am not them. I'm doing they it. They are not my measure. I am my measure. And I do 6.5 and 20 is good. I want you to do 30 and I want seconds. I want to do it more. I'm not trying to quit. I'm not well, trying to quit. Well, then do it, Joel. Stop saying all these words. <gasps> quit talking. I'm sick of just words, words, words. Talk, talk, talk. Shut the <gasps> up. Just do it. Just stop talking and do it. Don't say one more word. Just do it. 30 <laughs> seconds. Just do it. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Good. 15 seconds left. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Everyone press stop on the floor right here. So it's week two, and if Joelle gets sent home, I think I would really be upset. She has a lot to prove, um, not only to me, but to herself and to America. Knowing that the weigh-in is going on this very second is agonizing. If I had a weigh-in tonight, I'd be screwed. <laughs> I would be so scared, I'd be so nervous. Jerry could be sent home this week, but, um, I have to tell you that I'm really positive. I don't feel like that's gonna happen, but the kids consider him their superhero. Daniel could be coming home and I may not be able to, to make it back to the ranch. That would be tough. I wouldn't like that. Mainly because I know that Daniel needs to be there. We both need to be there. People are mad at me. This is big shut up or put up time. I could either get redeemed or I could look like a moron. If Joelle does fall below the yellow line, I don't believe that she would be safe. The way I feel, if you're working hard and you're giving it your all, you deserve to stay here. But if you're not, you need to go. You've seen in seasons past how couples have relied on each other, how a team works together, how the partner you came here with can help you get through this game. Well, as you all are experiencing this week, that has never been more true than it is right now. We have two teams that are still intact. 
with both players still competing on the ranch. But the other nine of you are the sole representatives of your team. You each have someone at home who is relying on you to help them stay in this game. But if you are eliminated, you are both eliminated. Gone for good. Jillian, what's this week been like for your team? They've done amazing. I, I, you know how much I <laughs> would love to tell you if that was not the case, but they've done everything I've asked. They've worked incredibly hard. They all passed up $25,000 to stay here, and I like them all, which never happens. <laughs> Thank God we have Bob around to keep things interesting this week. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> what I miss? Joelle and I just had some growing pains this week, and I was possessed by Jillian Michaels. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Joelle is smiling. Wait, I, I but really want to get on the scale. I really do. So let's do it. Two of you will fall below the yellow line, and tonight you will have to determine which of them will be eliminated. We are going to weigh you in in the order that you completed this week's challenge. Tara, since you won immunity at this week's challenge, you came in first place. We're going to weigh you in first. As I'm walking up on the scale, it's, you feel so strange because I look to my left and Laura's not with me. It was just a weird, lonely feeling just standing there by yourself and seeing the empty scale. Tara. You won immunity at this week's challenge. But let's go ahead and see how you did this week. Your previous weight was 273 pounds. Your current weight is. What? Tara, your current weight is 272 pounds. You lost one pound this week. I guess it's true. I guess the whole entire dreaded week two is for real because I don't understand how I could, you know, give it 100% and only lose a pound. Thank God I won immunity. It's all proceeding. No more worrying. So much better. Now I'm moving on to the next week. Black team, Lane, you came in second place. So we are going to weigh you gentlemen in next. As we walked up to the scale, even though week two is kind of rough, we really feel like we've had a great week and, uh, you know, we're feeling good. Dane, last week you weighed in at 392 pounds. Blaine, last week you weighed in at 351 pounds. Your current weight is. If you already have a moderate level of fitness and you're looking to kick it up a notch, try adding some jump work to your routine. If you're doing squats, try a jump squat or try some jumping lunges. And for a little variety with your cardio, try jump rope or jumping jacks. Dane, last week you weighed in at 392 pounds. Blaine, last week you weighed in at 351 pounds. Your current weight is. Dane, you lost 14 pounds this week. Blaine, you lost 16 pounds this week. Ah, it feels good. I, I, uh, I was really hoping for a, for a big week. I'm, I'm thrilled. The black team lost a combined total of 30 pounds this week. Congratulations, John. <laughs> black team, in your first two weeks on campus, you have lost a total of 64 pounds between you. Black team lost 30 pounds tonight for a total percentage of weight loss of 4.04%. You are setting a high standard. That is the number to beat tonight. Mandy, you placed third at the challenge, so it is your turn to weigh in. As I'm walking up to the scale, you know, thinking back in my head, I saw Tara's number. 
she worked just as hard, if not harder than I did this week, and she only lost one pound. So of course I'm scared automatically. Your previous weight was 251 pounds. Your current weight is. Manny, your current weight is 245 pounds. You lost six pounds in the dreaded week two. Yay! Thank you, Manny. Thanks. Oh my gosh, I lost six pounds. I was like so excited. You know, I worked hard. I gave it all this week, and it was an amazing feeling. Mandy, you lost six pounds this week on behalf of the yellow team for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.39%. Let's see how that stacks up with everyone else. Helen, let's see how you did tonight. Come on up. I've got a lot riding on this this evening. Because um, if I go home, it's we're done. It's just not me. It's me and Shannon. And I can't have that. Helen, your previous weight was 245 pounds. Your current weight is... I'm bringing Shannon back. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. Shannon would be so proud of me. I think she'd be even be a little bit shocked, you know? Like, wow, Mom, you actually pulled it off? Helen, you lost eight pounds this week on behalf of the pink team for a total percentage of weight loss of 3.27%. Black team, you have two teams below you, which guarantees you are safe from elimination this week. Congratulations, gentlemen. It is your turn, Brown team, to get on that scale. Let's see how you did this week. I'm anxious to see how Michael and I did, but at the same time, I know that this could be it. You know, we're, we're weighing as a team, so one of us is gonna bring the other one down, regardless of who's higher than the other guy. Ron, your previous weight was 398 pounds. Mike, your previous weight was 366 pounds. Your current weight is... Ron, you lost 12 pounds this week. Your current weight is 386 pounds. Mike, your current weight is 359 pounds. You lost seven pounds this week. I beat you again. I know. <laughs> wow, now there's a dad for you. I love beating him because I know that he hates being beat, especially by me. And if that's what gets him to work harder, then I'm gonna keep beating him. You lost 19 pounds as a family for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.49%. Helen, with two teams below you, you are definitely safe from elimination tonight. Congratulations. Damien, you're next. All right. I'm feeling really confident now. I don't know why, but each step I feel a little bit more secure about the work that I put in this week. So I'm thinking, you know, all this hard work's got to pay off. Damien, your previous weight was 364 pounds. Your current weight is... Damien, your previous weight was 364 pounds. Your current weight is... Woo! Damien, your current weight is 355 pounds. You lost nine pounds. Woo! <laughs> yes! That's how you lose nine pounds in the second week and not bitch and moan. It's about working hard. Damien, you lost nine pounds this week, which gives the red team a total percentage of weight loss of 
2.47%. One by one, each contestant goes up, and I keep seeing these big numbers come up from everyone, which is unlike week two, you know? I was expecting six pounds to be a really good weight loss. Brown team, with two teams below you, you are definitely safe from elimination this week. Congratulations. We have five teams left to weigh in. Kristen, come on up. There's a lot of pressure because I'm not only weighing in for myself, I'm weighing in for my team. Um, I vowed that when my mom left that I would bring her back here. So my heart is pounding out of my chest. Kristen, to keep your mom safe and to keep you here one more week, you need to have lost more than eight pounds. Your previous weight was 341 pounds. Your current weight is. the Bob dance, but I don't think I could do it as good as the guys do. <laughs> like... <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thank you. I've failed at so many diets before, and it's amazing to see what eating right and exercise can really do to your body. So I'm really excited, you know, to see this weight just melt off. Kristen, you lost 10 pounds on behalf of the purple team for a total percentage of weight loss of... 2.93%. Watching my name falling down and down and down, it was really hard for me. I mean, I was shaking, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going home. Why is this happening? Felipe, it's time for you to get on the scale. All right, good job. Shiona going home makes this week even more crucial for me because that means I have to stay above the yellow line. And I can tell you this much, man, I worked my butt off this week. Felipe, on behalf of you and Sione, you need to have lost more than eight pounds to be safe from elimination this week. Last week, you weighed in at 347 pounds. Felipe, your current weight is... Feel good? I feel good. <laughs> I feel great. Congratulations. Thank you, Felipe. Thank you. Felipe, you lost nine pounds this week, which means the blue team has a total percentage of weight loss of 2.59%. Congratulations, Felipe. So well. Let's see how you did this week. It has been the week of Joelle. From the temptation to the workouts to the last chance workout, she sticks out like a sore thumb. I am very interested to see what that looks like on the scale. Joelle, in order to keep Carla and yourself safe from elimination this week, you need to have lost more than seven pounds. I get up there and everybody wants to know what I've done. This is either I've done something or I'm full of it. Joelle, your previous weight was 296 pounds. Your current weight is. Joelle, your previous weight was 296 pounds. Your current weight is. Two pounds. Two mother frickin' pounds. I can feel people glee. This is an I told you so. I accept that. I'm a big enough woman to take an I told you so. 
Thank you very much, Joel. Okay. I was surprised that it was two pounds, to tell you the truth. You see who's putting in the effort here and who isn't. And that scale's not going to lie to you. Joel, you lost two pounds this week on behalf of the silver team for a total percentage of weight loss of 0.68%. Damien, with two teams below you, the red team is definitely safe from elimination this week. Congratulations. Thank you. We have two teams left to weigh in. Jerry, you are next up. Yeah, I am. Let's go, Jer. I, I'm very anxious because I, I don't want to go home. I want to stay as long as I possibly can. Jerry, in order to keep you and Estella safe from elimination this week, you need to have lost more than eight pounds. Last week, you weighed 344 pounds. Your current weight is... What are you thinking about, Jerry? I, I don't know. I don't need this. I need to stay here. I was just hoping for a miracle and it could come. such a crushing blow because I knew I was I was below the yellow line and it just ripped my heart out because I felt so bad I felt like I didn't do what I needed to do for Stella and me you still lost 26 pounds in two weeks you know. mm -hmm. Jerry gets up he loses one pound and I just I felt my heart just break I even looked over I see Allison wiping tears from her face, and I was like, ugh. Nobody wants to see Jerry fall below the line. Jerry needs to be here. Jerry, you lost one pound this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 0.29%. With only one person left to weigh in, I'm sorry to tell you that you have definitely fallen below the yellow line and are in danger of elimination this week. Mandy. With two people below you, you are definitely safe from elimination this week. Congratulations. Thank you. I felt like, oh my gosh, you know, it's not me, but it's Jerry. There couldn't have been a worse situation. Dan, now it's time to get you on that scale. Let's see how you did this week. I want to be confident. I want to have total faith that I'm going to do well, but at the same time, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about seeing a low number. Dan. You lost at the challenge this week, which means you have a one pound penalty at this week's weigh-in, which means in order to keep you and Dave safe from elimination this week, you need to have lost more than three pounds. Dan, your previous weight was 424 pounds. Your current weight is. It was the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario. I mean, Jerry and Dan, those are the two contestants that need to be here more than anyone else. Dan, you lost three pounds this week, but because you have a one pound penalty, that means your total percentage of weight loss this week is 0.47%. If you had not received that one pound penalty at the challenge this week, you would be safe from elimination and would be Joel. That would be below the yellow line with Jerry. If you want to call this a win, you can. It's nothing that I can celebrate. 
I just beat the oldest and the heaviest. There's no glory in that. Jerry, Dan, I'm sorry to tell you that you have both fallen below the yellow line, and it is up to everyone else to determine who will be going home tonight. Bob, Jillian, it's time for you to say goodnight to your teams. Thank you, girl. I know this is not an easy decision for any of you, but one that has to be made. And I will see you in one hour in the elimination room. So we all leave the gym kind of in silence. I think we were all just trying to think of what was going to happen next. Everyone knows how important this is to Jerry and to Dan and how much they needed it in their lives. And we knew this was going to be so tough. Dan's just so young. You know, he's not going to be living his life to what he possibly can be if he stays like this. That's the sad part. You know, but Jerry collapsed the first day we were on the campus. I mean, does he need the support and the medical attention and, you know, everything more here? Dan needs it more than Jerry does. Jerry was thin once in his life. I saw his wedding picture. He's got an image to go back to. He's got the support of his children. He's got the support of his wife. And he will be able to do it. Dan has never been thin. He has never, I was him. My son is him. They're only a year apart. And I got to tell you, Dan will not go home and do it. He'll go home and he'll lose 80 pounds and he'll gain 110 back. That's what's going to happen to Dan. Because I've done it. I've done it over and over and over. That boy has to be here. He's a 19-year-old boy. He has to be here. Coming up, the biggest loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated players look today. The Biggest Loser Club, it's changing lives. Tonight, we will eliminate the first team from the Biggest Loser campus. And I can't imagine a more difficult choice. We're gonna go around this room and each of you will reveal who you voted for. Kristen, we're gonna start with you. I feel blessed and honored to have been able to meet both of these guys because they truly are an inspiration. And the person that I voted for has shown so much strength and courage and determination. And I know no matter what, this person will be successful. So I've decided to vote to send Jerry home. Okay, Jerry, that's one vote for you. Yeah, I'm at peace. Felipe. My emotions were mixed up because I, lo I love these guys so much. I didn't base it on who worked the hardest. I didn't base it on who needed to be the most. I just based it on my feeling. So I decided to vote for uh, Jerry Bear. Jerry, that's two votes. Yep. Damien. I want to see Daniel become Jerry. I want to see him grow up and have that family. So my decision was to send home Jerry. Jerry, that's three votes. If you receive two more, you'll be eliminated. Okay. What it came down to was just who has the support at home to do this. With that, <coughs> I voted for Jerry. I'm sorry. I'm, don't be sorry. Okay, I'm at peace with this, okay? Very much with peace. Jerry, that's four votes. All right. If you receive one more vote, you will be eliminated. Yeah, let's get it done. Ron. The person whose name is under this is an amazing, amazing guy. He's...
taught me more than he'll ever know. With a heavy heart, the Brown team votes for Kerry. Jerry, that's five votes. Yeah, and I feel good. I really do. It's... I'm going to miss everybody here. But I'm going to get to see my grandchildren, so... Jerry, I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. I'm the biggest winner, though. I truly am. I'm the biggest winner. Jerry, it's time for you to say goodbye to your friends. Okay. Your family. Yes, they are my family. Come on, rock star. <laughs> This sucker. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. When I arrived, I weighed 369 pounds, and now I weigh 343 pounds. From the first week, I went from a hospital bed. I'm walking 10 to 12 miles a day, and uh, my feet are good, my hips are good. Things that hurt me before don't hurt me. I have to leave, but I do get to see Stella. I can't wait to get home and start taking what we've learned here and making our lives back there. I mean, that's been our goal, to change our lives. America, the next time you see me, you're going to see a stronger, healthier Jerry than you do now. And a, a message to all the seniors out there is get off the sofa and get going. You'll find out that you'll start feeling much better and uh, your life will change. When I went to the ranch, I collapsed the first day. Went to the hospital, I was uh, restricted by the doctors, but now it's a completely different story. Since I started three months ago, I can't believe this body of mine. I feel so much better. I can walk, I can go up downstairs. It's, it's great, it's really great. Recently, I just had my annual physical and I got my blood work back and it, well, it just blew me away. It shows no indication of diabetes anymore. All the stuff I had before is, seems to be gone. Why does the feather, Quinny? This is truly gonna make us truly active grandparents. It's nice to be able just to go and play with them and just be a kid with them. I sure don't feel like I'm 63 anymore. Man, I'm getting strong. I mean, <laughs> it's getting here. I, I can't believe it. Hey, kiss. Mm -hmm.